Hey guys, Dave here. Welcome to Centurion's Review. I went to RatCon this weekend, just on Saturday. This was the 2022 RatCon. Looks like here they're doing some Team Yankee uh, stuff. Uh, there's DVG. They have a booth there selling all sorts of cool stuff. All the different leader games. These people were selling some dice. And the lady at the end there, she paints figures, and you can commission her to paint any figures that you purchase. This guy's got a 15mm sci-fi setup. He was at Little Wars too. This time he's doing a 15mm Doctor Who uh, scenario. I think it was called Get Davros or something like that. This is Badger Games. They got all sorts of plastic figures for sale. This guy's selling some of his games here. I bought one from him. I bought uh, Alicia, the one there in the top right corner there. Uh, I've, 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 that's a game I really needed. And I'll go through that with you in the end. But what also is they here they're playing Squ is Squadron 303. I, I played this game while I was there. This, this game is awesome. It's like a cross between a Euro and a war game. Here, Daryl Hartzig is putting on a big naval game. I think it was Spanish Armada or something. This is a cool little airplane game. Check out that big blimp there. All right, here's some Flames of War. Len was playing this game. It was uh, Americans versus Germans. The Germans won uh, on the last turn, but barely. This is some type of skirmish game here. I'm not sure exactly what it is. Just kind of going around recording everything. This is plans, Panzer Blitz 3D. Uh, they're using the Panzer Blitz rules with, uh, I think, 3mm miniatures. This looks cool here. I'm not sure what it is, but God, the train looks awesome. Small little skirmish game here. I like their terrain boards. Here are some big airplanes that someone brought. Look kind of cool. And here's some more stuff that Ike was selling. There's 303 Squadron. Good. I don't know if this is a science fiction game here or what this is. Which one is it? No, there's no counter or regular move. But you can attack it in yours. Because you can place a leader there, go in, and attack it. Here they're playing some war game with hidden information. Uh, can't see uh, where the, the other units, or excuse me, other side's forces are, so that's kind of cool. This is the paint and take. You pick one of these figures here and get the, to paint it. They provide the paints and stuff and give you the figure for free. I painted one figure. It was a kind of, I can't remember the name of it, some type of fish man, a D&D thing. This is one of the dealers here uh, selling some of their stuff. I think this was Royal Hobby. There's Len playing that 15 millimeter Flames of War game. This is really cool terrain here with all the mushrooms and funguses and stuff. Uh, can't remember the game, uh, the name of the game he had, but God, the terrain looks awesome. This is really cool here. This guy took a racing board game and blew up the map in uh, Photoshop and had this huge map uh, created there. Uh, it's really cool. I played this game. This was the uh, Pole Valley. This was excellent. I just went nuts with printing building. So now you do not have to. Okay. All right. You are still director. We. Together playing some hex and shit game. No. 
and I look right at him and I said, not sure what board game this one is. Okay, well, I have to. I'm already in there. This looks like some type of euro. One less, I think, whenever I build over here. And here's a miniature game with a lot of World War I biplanes. Yeah, they look really good. This is another game here. I think this was Flames of War, uh, Eastern Front, if I recall correctly. A lot of units. This is Squadron 303. Again, this is a game I played that I really liked. It's from Poland. Uh, really nice game. And here's some type of, uh, I don't know if this is a naval game or what it is. I think this was a B-movie game or something. Thanks for watching and have a good evening. Better call Jack. Yes, I